All right, yo, what is up, guys? Um, yeah, you probably clicked on this video. You've seen the title. It just says thank you, and you're like, you're probably thinking, ah, oh, is this one of those videos where, like, you know, the YouTuber they just go on about how thankful they are and just, you know, so soppy for like a few minutes. Yep, this is one of those videos, guys. Sorry, but yeah, I haven't made one ever, and I just hit 400,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is crazy. I just hit 2 million views on one video, this water bottle flip video. My channel is just going, like, blowing up at the moment. I'm getting, like, 7,000 subscribers a day. I'm nearly on 300,000 followers on Twitter. Ugh, it's crazy. I feel like I want to make this video just to sit down and speak to you guys about everything that you've, like, changed, everything that you've done to me. In like the best way, obviously, like there's nothing bad, it's just all amazing. Alright, I just took my hoodie off really quick, guys. I started making this video and realised it's 30 degrees and I have to turn off my fans so you guys don't hear the fans. And I just started to like boil out, I was like, alright, hoodie's off. I have no idea how it's 30 degrees in September in England. England. But yeah, like the title of this video says thank you and I just want to thank you guys for everything you've done for me. Obviously, I've thanked you before in videos, Twitter, Snapchats, everything. I try to say it as like frequently as I can without overloading you guys with like thank you thank you thank you thank you because loads of people do that and obviously you don't want it just stuffed out well you kind of have it all you guys have thank yous and appreciations stuffed down your throat by youtubers but like everybody says it and it just seems like i'm saying the same thing i've literally heard and watched like 50 videos but you know it is like seriously does mean a lot to me like all of you guys supporting me Watching my videos now, I have over 400,000 of you just on my YouTube platform. It is crazy. And to think I started making videos at the end of 2008 and then started posting them like 2009. And from 2009 until the present day, 2016, September the 13th, 14th, sorry, September the 14th. I've been making videos for that long. So when people tweet me asking me how long I've been making videos for, how long I've been recording and editing, there you go, that is your answer. I use the Wayback Time Machine on the internet so I can go on my old, old YouTube channel, find like an old web page that was like saved somehow and show you guys like where I was to how I got to where I am now. So this was one of my first YouTube channels. This was the first one that I can like really remember. I made this in April 27th, 2010. Me and my friends had our recording devices way before we even made YouTube channels. We like recorded, just showed each other our clips, like just around each other's houses, and then decided to make each other's YouTube channels. And I don't really know why we did that, but we made a YouTube channel after we had our recording stuff. And just look at my gamer tag, The Last Predator. I had 2,977 channel views. I had 150 subscribers. And down here, you guys see the channel comments. If any of you remember from the fate or the evolution of Phase K, sorry, FaZe Clan did actually comment on my channel comments one time saying, you know, thank you for, uh, you know, thank you for saying congrats. Because I said congrats to FaZe Clan for hitting like 5,000 or 3,000 sub. And FaZe Clan replied to me there, but obviously like this is just a way back machine. Like I can't actually use this page. It's just a picture. If any of you remember this YouTube layout, then you are OG. I did actually, or I have actually used YouTube since they had the star rating system. When I lived in my nan's house, I had an account called Frazier one two three four five six seven or something like that. The password was like one two three four five six seven eight nine. Like the easiest thing, I literally made the account just to get over the age restriction back then, and that was honestly like two thousand and six, two thousand and seven. So that was like a seriously long time ago when I started using YouTube. But then obviously I didn't really use it much consistently till I got my own computer, made the iPredator XXI channel. And boom, that's where I started off making my montages, quick scoping, and all of that. I then really didn't like that channel username. It was really like, you know, unclean and like I didn't like it. So I made a new one. Catchery was my name. It was Rise K, Rise Catchery, back when I used to be in Rise Clan. You guys know I said that. I made this channel on May 23rd, 2011. And back then, I had 2,182 subscribers. Look, I had like my Rise K, my main account, my other accounts, all of that, like my Twitter, everything like that. Oh, look. Shout out to Project Devise. You're either one of the best Rise players or the best. Thank you, man. Shout out to you. After the channel, Catry, I didn't really like the channel. Like, I don't know what it was. Like My subs were inactive. Or I think it might have got hacked. Something like that. I don't really know. But then I ended up making my channel, this current channel that you guys are watching this video on, Katricia. That is how you pronounce my channel name if you didn't know. I never like say that word ever. Katricia is just the name of the channel. And then when I, jo I made this channel, sorry... I joined Obey. I'm not sure many of you guys realize how much I genuinely do like love. Like I have a real passion. I'm not just saying like, oh, I'm passionate about that. But I do have like a genuine passion for YouTube and making videos. And I genuinely believe that is why like any team, I don't want to sound like I'm cocky, like, oh, I can do this, I can do that. But any team that I saw that I wanted to join, 
I got into. Like I went from Rise, which was the best clan at that time, to Zerka's Team Million, to Obey, to Optic, to Saw, to FaZe. There isn't any Call of Duty team that is big that I have never been in. And now I am still and currently part of, and would have been part of this for nearly three years, the world's most subscribed gaming team, FaZe Clan. So I've just gone through all the top gaming teams and now I'm in the best one. I'm still currently here. And I genuinely do believe that is because like I just have such a passion and I've always just put my head down and just like if I wanted it I just grinded for it so much like literally non-stop I have such like a focused I don't know how to explain it I'm sort of like if I find something I want I can just like entirely focus myself on that one thing it's kind of like a, a tunnel not a bad tunnel vision but it's I, I don't really have to explain it like I'll explain it in a light version so say someone's speaking to me and I'm texting if you're speaking to me I can hear you perfectly fine I can hear your words but I'm not listening, like I can't actually understand what you're saying. And then when I finish the text, they'll be like, oh, what did you say? It's kind of like that, like if I see, like I want, if I have a goal, I can just like, just go all out, just like directly do this one goal and just focus so much on it. And that is, I think, and that's, you know, what I did like throughout YouTube. And then obviously, like I said, I did join Optic. Like this is just my Optic when Optic was my channel. And then I joined FaZe. This was back when I had 26,000 subscribers. I joined FaZe with seven thousand subscribers i didn't have ten thousand i didn't have that why is it japanese i, I didn't see that but yeah I, I didn't join phase with like some crazy amount of subscribers i didn't blow up i literally joined phase with seven thousand subscribers i was a sniper from optic to saw and then phase and, and i don't know like i just grinded ever since and then look this is me with ninety five thousand subscribers and then on to hundred and fifty one thousand subscribers i don't think the wayback machine goes any further up than that and now this is my channel currently compare my views now to what i was getting before this video today guys this video where has it gone the water bottle flip video right, just on? hit two million views what the two million oh my god G it's crazy. I've never had a video get that many views ever, ever on YouTube. This is my first one ever. I'll show you guys, look, my most popular videos is the most epic water bottle flips. And then this is how I nearly died, which I both uploaded like very recently within this month, like within two week period. So it's just so crazy to me. Like I know you guys obviously watch YouTubers that get millions of views all the time. But for the guys like me who have not even a million subscribers yet, it's, it's, it's a big thing for me to get over a million views on a video, let alone two million views let alone in a week and just oh man fuck i love you guys well i'm back to this camera view now i hope you did enjoy that brief like chronological order like history of me like in a bit more depth about clan i don't know just speaking more openly about it all so i'm kind of like working my way through my past and all my like big progressions and stages and saying thank you for like each and everything kind of that's what i'm trying to do here the next stage after i was already in phase was in 2000 or the end of 2015 sorry when or actually i'd say the beginning of 2015 while i was still at college i still i really didn't know what to do like i'm sure i'm certain loads of you guys must have this even if it's not with you leaving school even if it's just with you did you hear that stutter even if it's just with you choosing your options at school like oh i want to do like re i want to do physics p like psre history i want to choose those options sometimes it can be a bit daunting like scary not knowing what you want to do when i was in college in 2015 i'd already left my last year of high school and dropped out and went to college to like do a games development degree or degree no way games development btech course at college no, i haven't done a degree don't worry but like everyone was asking me because it was the last year and everyone was just like, Fraser, what uni are you going to? Like, Fraser, here is your list of unis. Apply to these universities. You've got to go to university and you've got to do this and you've got to do that. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'll go to this, I'll go to this uni to do games design, to do make games. But in my head, I'm like, I'm really like, fuck, I wish I could just do YouTube because it is my passion. But like, I I'm not making money, I'm not making enough. I'm not making like a stable income, so I, I like physically can't do it. It would be looked at as like a waste of time, like it's not worth it and all that kind of stuff. So I remember very clearly, it was April 2015, I remember thinking, alright, I've just applied to uni, there is no fucking way I'm spending three years of my life doing something that I will not enjoy, that I will not be happy doing, and that I do not want to do. Like, like there's no, like I'm, I would never fucking do it, I would not do it. So I just said, like I said, I set my mind, I was like, right, this is very important. I have to be able to generate a stable income. So by the end of, or by September, by like in the next five months or so, 
that I can start living off YouTube and hopefully turning it into more of a full-time job. And yeah, so it was April and it didn't even get to June. And in June, I earned the most money I had ever earned. I know YouTubers are like kind of scared about speaking about money. Like, oh my God, I'm not going to tell you guys the amounts and stuff. You know, that's different. But I want you to know that you like enabled me to not spend years of my life regretting a decision I made because I couldn't follow what I was like so passionate about but I was being pushed away from being able to follow the passion. Not being pushed away. Everybody in my family was supporting me. My mum especially is like the most supportive mum ever. Like I know there is not a more supportive mum in the world than my mum. But I, I didn't want to go to uni. Obviously my mum knew I wanted to do YouTube but at the same time she's got to support my life so it was a very hard decision and then like I said June uh, it was the most money I'd ever earned in a month. It was when I started streaming and I was doing YouTube and my YouTube was going better and I was like, oh my god, I actually just earned like, I earned a secure income. Like, I earned what like people working a job would earn in a month and I'm doing what I fucking love and I'm enjoying it and I'm growing at it and I'm experiencing like new things, doing great, like it was just like, fuck like it feels like i'm doing the i'm doing i'm a youtuber it feels like i'm a full-time youtuber and i'm still in college and i've still got this goal of like wanting to leave college being able to do youtube full-time but i'm currently in college getting enough to do it so i was like fuck okay I, I achieved my goal in like a month so throughout college i kept on grinding while doing my exams at the same time on my coursework i actually completed my college i have my college btech degree level three like i'm a i'm like a qualified kind of games designer but you guys didn't even know that i can do some modeling some games design stuff but i wasn't passionate about it so i'm never going to be as good at it as i am this so i followed this comes around september i got back from the phase house and um i'd already been living off it before then, I had spoken, I remember to Apex, I said to him, I was like, yeah, I'm actually like managing to like do this full time now. And he was so happy for me. I remember it so clearly. And I was so happy at the time as well. I'm still so happy about it all. And um, yeah, like September, I said, I didn't go to university. All my friends went off, went to university, started doing jobs. And I stayed in my town, I stayed in my bedroom and made YouTube videos. And now it's a whole year later, like literally it is September, a whole year later after I decided to do it full time. So I've been a full time YouTuber doing this, like it's just kind of hit me while I'm making this video. I've been a full time YouTuber and live streamer for a year. This has been my whole job for a year and I fucking love it. And since it's been a year, my subscribers have over doubled, my followers have over doubled, my Instagram followers have over doubled, my Snapchat views have over doubled, like over tripled, like, it, like it's just nuts. It's honestly just crazy and I have one person, well not just one person, but like I have all of you people, like I have one thing to point at to thank, but like behind that, I've got all you thousands, millions of people to thank. Thank you. And that's just not a normal like, oh thank you, thank you, like, that's like a fucking life-changing thank you, okay? Like, fuck. So like, imagine how important your own life is to you and then just kind of like put that into like some sort of perspective. Like imagine having your whole life changed because you started making videos in like a year and then a year later you never know what it's going to be because it's already like changed so much from this time last year so you never know what the future holds as well. It's just crazy. I've said crazy, I've said this is crazy, oh it's crazy, oh that's crazy. I wonder how many times I've said that during this video, probably a lot. But I really felt like I had to sit down and do this talking video to appreciate you guys. Like I have to have a video on my channel where I just appreciate like, because I do. Like every single day I do, I tell all my friends I do, I tell everybody, uh, even everyone else stream in my videos I do. But I just want one dedicated video to say thank you. If you did enjoy this video, smash a like on it. Sorry about not having like a proper video. I did upload a FaZe House real life knife trick shotting video yesterday. So if you missed that. Go check that out. I also uploaded Exploring a Haunted Tunnel the day before. So I've got some good videos out recently for you guys. I've got some sick ones planned for this week. Even maybe some more, more of this. That, that didn't land. But maybe some more of that this week. You never know. But yes, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. It has been Frasier or Phase K. And one last time, thank you.